so <clears throat> sorry I'm a little out of breath because I ran inside to get a paper towel so you see this is still wet so you can blot off areas of color if you got it too dark or whatever which I like it a little brighter so I'm just gonna add more color in there I really wanted this one to be more of a lemony yellow because I have a, a doodle tree that has uh, I have a doodle tree that has yellow with orange with this project what colors you decide to use you really want to be uh, aware of the color wheel the color wheel the colors that are next to each other on the rainbow when you put them next to each other with watercolors and they bleed into each other they're going to bleed into each other and make really pretty colors so red and orange are going to bleed together nicely red orange orange and yellow are going to bleed together nicely red orange yellow yellow and green are going to bleed together nicely so something you might not be aware of maybe you are but it's my video so I'll tell you anyways is that when you put colors that are opposite each other on the color wheel uh, when they bleed together with watercolors um, it makes brown so red and green are opposite each other on the color wheel they look really nice next to each other. They are complementary colors. They say nice things about each other. But when you mix them together, you get a shade of brown. Um, same thing with blue and orange. They are opposite each other on the color wheel. They make each other look very nice when they are put next to each other. But if you're using watercolors, when they bleed together, they make a different shade of brown. So see how I don't have to really be careful about um, going over my marker? Because this is a permanent marker. Very cool project. I love doing these. They are addictive. They make me very happy. I actually kind of thought it would be cool when I was doing this that I might let the green kind of be in this little patch of yellow in a couple of places. I just thought that'd be kind of cool. When I'm going over this red area with my green, remember what I said about those colors going on top of each other, red and green, it's going to make it into a muddy brown mess maybe. So when I get to this area, I'm just gonna use more clean water as opposed to green. This is a really loose, loosey-goosey kind of... Am I talking too much? Clean 
water. Yellow patch. Now a little dab of green. Boop, 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 boop. I'm being careful not to put the green. Well, just because I like bright colors. You might want a little muddiness. Um, which sometimes it is appropriate to muddy that pink by putting the green on top of it. But that's fine. But that drives me a little crazy, so I'm going to blot it off. Just depends on how you want your tree to look. Uh-oh. A little bug. Shoo! Well, that might be fun. Like, what if I just, like... Ooh, that was cool. So I'm just going to splatter a few spots. Uh, oops. That was supposed to be... That was supposed to be yellow. So I'm going to blot a little bit off of that. Watercolors are, I think, pretty forgiving. I don't know that I use them the correct way. As long as you're working with them with your with them you know wet once they've dried it's a little more difficult to get your colors off I'm just kind of squinting my eyes at this which I think is is a great trick compositionally to try to see where you need more color or less color or a darker shape. When I squint my eyes at a picture, I, it helps me to see at a glance where I need more color or less color. And this squinting, this is pretty light right here. Let's add a little bit more color here. I really like this limey kind of thing going on. I'm gonna maybe soften this line right here with just some clean water. I really like that. I do that some more like. Some more green over here. What do you think? Whoa, that's dark. So I'm going to soften the edge of that by using clean water. Kind of let it bleed out. I'm going to dab off a little bit of my leaves. on this edge here with clean water. I feel like this needs to have some green in here. Maybe come down into the picture a little bit. That was a little much. I don't think I like that. Yeah, I don't know if I like that. I like it up here, but I don't think I like it here. I'm just going to put a whole nother coat here. But I want it to bleed into itself, so I'm going to wet the edge here. 
Maybe add a little bit more green down here. Soften that, it's too bright. Kind of like that green patch. I feel like I need to have another one right here. on the edge, let it bleed. A little too much. Now what do you think? Maybe a little bit more green down here, kind of framing it a little bit. Clean water. What do you think? I'm good. I might add a little more here and there, but you get the gist. Thanks, guys. Happy doodling.